hand. What would? What is a marriage contract? <laughs> Why are you so ridiculous? I am it. I am it. So it is not like a formal license, correct? Mm -hmm. So it's a contract for maybe, I guess you could put the stipulation on how many years. Let's just say five years, right? Okay. It's three a contract. Years. Okay, three. It's a contract for three years. And at the third year, you revisit that contract to see if you want to renew it. Or if you're like, yeah, I'm good. Bye. But no divorce, so it's nothing on paper. You're not splitting anything. I mean, great if you end up having a kid, that's, that's a different conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's no divorce-worthy type of proceedings. As Will Smith, I mm -hmm. signed that right away. But now, would you have known? Known what? That you felt like you would need a contract. Remember, let's. I feel like we forget too. Like back in the day, they really looked like they were madly in love. Yeah. So I think was. if you presented it to point. them, they probably both would have said no. <clears throat> but I think everybody goes through a stage of being madly in love. The mm. relationships that are good are the ones that get past that and understand what's going on. But we're not going to get into my. So, but what? I, but what about those people? They maybe would never pick a contract then. Maybe yeah, they may. I'm marriage. saying, me personally, mm -hmm. I wouldn't do a contract at this stage. But like, if mm. I was like thirty, I would sign a marriage contract. In a you think age plays a factor? But yeah, I think so. Not the factor, spouse, the age. Both. What you say? Ah. You, being, you being 30? Yeah, if I was 30, I would consider a marriage contract. Why? But you 30? Because, wow. yeah. yeah, I'm not 30. Like, oh, okay, five years. Okay, yeah, that's uh -huh. Because the first year contract would be five years. You. What we are we you. talking about? We hear you. We're so not first, going down that deep No, no, I'm just saying, all right. I'm just saying, all right, look at it like this, right? Mm -hmm. I'm 30. Mm -hmm. I meet a lady, blah, 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 a young mm -hmm. lady, whatever. We get married. Mm -hmm. Yo, we're going to sign a four-year deal with a one-year play option. You feel me? Oh. One year play object, because we could probably, what if we fucking up the phone? Is this a draft? No, no, no. I told you, Jane, it's like, you're oh, talking real God. crazy, like, this is a draft. What's a play option? What's a play option, option. Yeah. That, that's what you, you get to pick up if you want to finish out the year and then become a free agent, or you can just walk away early. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, it could be four years, and then you don't got to play the fifth year, mm. or you could play out the whole fifth year if you choose to, and then when year six come, you come to the table for the Supermax. Oh, so you have stipulations in there. No, I'm just saying, I'm breaking down the contract for you. I feel That's like, not listen, breaking down the contract. I'm breaking why, down the contract. Why you always got to switch up the task at hand? I'm telling you, I, this is what I'm trying to say. At the age of 30, now, this is what I'm talking about. At the age of 30, uh -huh. right? I signed me a four-year deal, fellas, with a fifth-year <laughs> option, you heard? Right? So, right, boom, I do, da da da, she signed, I signed. Uh -huh. Everybody understand. So, four years guaranteed. Four years guaranteed. Heard you. The mm -hmm. fifth year is an option. Ah, and I see. And then if you pick up your fifth, you can play out the fifth. But mm. in the fourth year, if you choose to extend longer, you can't. Mm. You feel, if you sign so that. So, pass that one year. Yeah. It, mm. All right, so when year four come, right, mm. when you six months in, mm -hmm. you have to start talking extension. Mm. You feel me? So, mm -hmm. like, I right, boom, say you get married in January. Mm -hmm. We get to June. Mm. You feel me? Mm. Yo, baby, you want to. Nah, mm. I want to play out the rest of the year. All right, mm. now you play the year route. Now you get to the fifth year. Interesting. She could decide to pick up her player option and be like, all right, baby, we're going to try this last year mm -hmm. route. Or she could be like, yo, I'm going to revoke it and I'm going to hit free agency. Mm. Y'all following me yet, fellas? I'm, I, I hear you. I hear you. So by the time I'm 34, 35, if my taste changes something, oh. I could walk away. But if my taste is the same, yo, I'll re-up. Mm. If my taste is the same come 35, 34, I sign up. Ten year yeah, contract. On both, on you both feel me? Sides, both sides. It sounds good. I don't know what's wrong with that. Cause this sounds very much like you're seriously dating. No, no. With no. the option to leave when you're ready. No, you're That's married. what marriage is. <laughs> no, but I feel like well, okay. Now this goes back to societal norms, right? Uh -huh. I think people value mar. Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's layered. Oh wait, okay. In the perfect world, right? It's marriage is like. I know, but marriage is like not for... Okay, it's like, oh my God, I'm going to hold on to this. I don't want to... Whatever, all the things, right? Mm -hmm. If that's the mindset, why would you ever sign a contract then? Because you're already going in thinking like there's a possibility to get out or there's people an opportunity already, to get out. When you people are already it, going to marriage wait, hold just on, with, with the option of leaving. So when you mm. do a that's prenup, that's the, that's the same That's the same tricks and gaslighting that people use when it's prenup time, no? Why would I sign a prenup if we never going to break up? What's the difference? I agree with that. That's but what I'm I saying. Think, so a prenup and a contract, have, I don't see no difference. But I feel like people have things at stake, though, with a prenup. Like, what's a regular Joe Schmo? I know me. The I think it's, it's a little different with the contract. The contract could come with... Every contract, you could have the same stipulations uh -huh. in the contract where, yo, if you choose, you can choose to walk away with this or we yeah. can choose to come to an agreement yeah. where we split. I, I, I. That could be in the contract. If we equate all of these assets while we're in the contract of the marriage, mm -hmm. when we... We split it. Mm -hmm. All of that would be in the contract. Mm. I'm team prenup, so I don't know. 
So prenup and contract, same thing. You you just don't want you just don't like the way contracts sound. I just think it's it's not painting a picture of like longevity. So I right, it's, it's the loophole for me. So look at this, right? Uh huh. Your driver's license, your passport, uh -huh. they all got to be renewed and expired, right? Uh huh. But why your wedding license don't? Oh, no. That's different, though. How? It's a license. I know, but, like, those don't require a commitment to somebody else. Like, those mm -hmm. are individual. Mm -hmm. Like, a password is individual. Mm -hmm. A license is, like... Uh, don't, like don't try to smart me up. I'm just, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm just trying good. to see the other, take good. the other side of it. That was good. You get what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't involve somebody else for a decision. But the contract... But it, it does involve, but in that contract, it does involve someone else. I know. No, I'm just saying she's saying the license, license and the passport is an individual. Yeah, so that was makes, it makes it more sense. It's like tennis. I get it. It's it makes even more sense because you don't know if you're going to be in the same mindset five years from now. So it's kind of like, mm. like it's a check in. Because no. you're going to check in with the boss. Once that once that divorce, it's a check and in. You can't too. even, sometimes you got to go through therapy, you go to go separation. You got to go through all of this to get, it's the same thing. Because to go through divorce, so you got to go through steps. You can't just get divorced. That's true. So you what's do. the difference it's in signing the contract? Like That's what I'm it. saying. The contract would just be a smoother transition. Yeah, but I just feel like, especially for people, I stand true on believing that. I feel like it paints a picture of you thinking that there's an out. I, that makes sense. That, that would be people me. People like, at it like that. That makes sense. Yeah, because if I'm like, we're getting be, married, yeah. I'm thinking that's a long, a lifelong, not even like, yeah. a lifelong commitment. But I, right, that's true. But no, now let's changed. talk reality. Let's true? talk reality, right? Uh huh. How often the rate is fifty percent still, right? Divorce, mm -hmm. right? I think it might even be lower than that. Oh, you mean like seventy five? I mean it's probably higher. I know. Yes. That's mm -hmm. what I was gonna say seventy five. But <laughs> so right, the amount of people that fall out of love anyway. Yeah. I feel like this is just a safety net. So when it is more applicable, is that the word? Applicable? Amicable. Amicable. There we go. Mm -hmm. it, it's more like that when you're walking away because y'all yeah. both decided to sign this contract. Even though y'all both decide to sign a license, yeah. but the license come with all this weight, like for life. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, do what he say. Mm -hmm. I obey my man. The mm -hmm. contract won't come with all that spill. You feel me? You feel me? Love your man as long as you love your man. That's what I was going to say, ladies. So, it's just, I'm just saying, in that sense, like, I feel like it makes it easier and it gets you to a safer place when you got to restart as well. No. I just feel like if, to me, it also sounds like there may be, and this could just be my bias opinion, mm -hmm. a level of doubt, right? If you decide to do the contract route and not the license route. That's just me. But I also just feel like, what's the difference with that, like, them being in a committed relationship? Then why am I signing a contract? you're in a contract. That's what? the same thing. Like that's like saying, "What's the no, difference?" No, no, no. But the, that's being in a committed relationship. What's the saying, what's the you don't have any. You what's, don't need a contract. What's the difference between living with somebody, splitting everything with somebody for twenty years, and never getting married? That's just, it's the same shit. But that's what I'm that's saying. That's basically a marriage. So you don't without have, the paperwork. So what I'm saying is, if you don't want to get married, or if you feel like there may be too many things at stake, mm -hmm. and you rather avoid all the things that come with a possible divorce. Just be in a committed relationship. But you're not going to invest with each other in just a committed relationship. We're not doing that's that. That's crazy. We're not doing that. You're not going to pour into... Not you're not going to just pour into somebody that's just a high-level girlfriend. But see, that's... We're not doing that. But see, but that's my point in terms of the difference between having a contract and a license. No, I, I don't that see the difference. Because no. the license get broken by divorce anyway. Nah. So what's the difference? If, if the... Because nah. I... Like, now say, for instance, you see them... Because it'd be sad when you see somebody married for 25 years and then they yes. get divorced. That's sad. Yeah, it's but unfortunate. They, you understand it. To like twenty five years with one person, even but if as both of y'all mentioned, time change things happen. So when I happen? feel like, okay, it's a divorce. Like I don't, it, it happens. It's not the I, end of the world. I, I, if, it's unfortunate I'm that like it happens, Will Smith, but brother. to me, it's not the end of the world. Listen, I get divorced. I'm like Willie, bro. If you want to step out, step out behind my back. You heard it. I ain't get divorced. That's not his thing on my. But that's what I'm saying. If you have that mindset, then why not have a lesson? I'm just saying, at 30, For you. At 30 I would have signed the contract. 35, I'm doing a license. No, I don't think, I don't. I wouldn't do a contract. I wouldn't do, be. I wouldn't. I told you, me personally, if I'm single in the market right now, I'm trash. I have two kids with two different women. I don't know where my life goes. But people me. make blended families work. I have you, that now. That's what I'm saying. So you think another person going to come and blend in, dude? You can't. What do you they mean? might. I feel like, see, you, it's a mindset thing. I feel like you have a negative mindset around it. It's not a negative mindset. It's the women I've been around. Which is fair, but you have one to change your mind. So my whole thing is anything can happen. Yeah. You found your winner. I found You my... wasn't always thinking like this. 
No, I wasn't. Hmm. You love to so, expose me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. People can change your mind, and if they can, now I'm talking to somebody like you that's like, I'm getting married. I'm never getting a divorce. No, she's stuck like Chuck. So, what we talking about here? You can always get that one person that might change the game for you. But That's all that, I'm saying. If you find I, that one person that changes the game for you, all right. shout out to the license. A contract, I don't get it. I don't see it. If you find that one person we that you a think, That's it. sign the contract. We go, listen, we're going to take a poll. This is what we're going to poll. I want to that poll. Was, that's part. a good one. Would that's you a good prefer one. a marriage contract mm. or a marriage license? I think if you do a four, to, I think you do a four year with a play option for the fifth year, fellas. If she pick up the option, she love you. Then after that, you sign the 10 year extension. I don't see that wrong with that. I think that's 15 years together. Right All right, there. I have one last thing. Go ahead. Imagine meeting somebody mm -hmm. that's had two to three marriage contracts. Uh -huh. How would you feel about that? I mean, somebody they mean they looking for love. <sighs> wait, so time out. Wait, so time out. Wait, so time out. Wait, time out. Time out. Time out. So what's the difference? I knew, don't even say divorce. Oh, no, 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 not divorce. Not divorce. No, but meeting somebody that been divorced three times—that's crazy. Mm. <laughs> that's different. That sounds a lot worse. See no, why? Because three contracts, three contracts sound like you just been in three serious relationships, like you said. That's what I'm saying. Based on What's what the you point said. Of what I'm just saying, so why do we have to put marriage to it? Why can't we just say we in a, a like a long term divorce, commitment? Divorce. When you when you dating right, and you talk about your past, you say divorce. Oh yeah. And how do they? they how is it taken? Mm. Uh, I get that kind of like the the quiet moment. Mm -hmm. Why do you think so? Because they you look at you like you're dirty or something. Like what you did wrong. No. You go, right, go or ahead. is it because you that you're young? What do you think? It's like why it goes quiet. I don't know. I don't know. I, I never thought about that. Mm. Mm. You should ask one time. That is, that is mm -hmm. I think they judge you. That's me personally. I think, well, they I, think judge I think it's, it's judgment on the yeah. way. I, think it's I got kids, so it's kind of like if I kind of try to leave, like mm -hmm. let that um, take that out the door right away. Be like, yeah, you know. I got kids. I was married, divorced, and all of that. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a lot. I think kids is not a, a kids, bad no, thing. Kids at this point, two yeah, kids. Yeah, it's kind of like at least you got two kids with one known, person. But that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, not that's the plus. Yeah, the end of the world. No, but and not, also you're not a Debbie. Yes, you get what I'm true. saying. I feel like that would always <laughs> they don't be caring. Nah, I mean always? sometimes they don't, but like I think a good Baby girl number four, five, six don't be. Caring. That's true, but I think a good girl is more inclined to want to talk to somebody with a kid at this day and age as long as. He's present. Because we older. Yes, now I never, older. I never yes, understood, yeah. like, how you know if I'm not a deadbeat? Because it's all words, like. That's also true. Unless they're they going to have to, sooner or later, they, that's what I'm saying. Some of them just get worse. Sooner or later, you got to see you around your kid. Correct. Maybe sure they would be like, oh, you're such a good dad. I'm like, you don't know nothing about my kids. You they trying to get, that's also true. They trying to get some pee-pee, bro. Women we, we, we try to get pee-pee, too, bro. Okay. They compliment you to try to get the pee-pee, bro. They trying to go and buy good dad. Yo. Yeah. I'm out the game. But yes. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I mean, you just gave us the story. Yeah, yeah. Shout Last out. week, yeah. Yeah, yeah shout out. Mm. All the girl dads and boy dads. And... Mm. Well, I'm team no contract, so. I'm team contract, but I'm fake. But team contract. Yo, to all my young fellas out there, yo, look into the contract. I I'm might team, make I'm it a thing. contract. See? Okay. See? Well, best of luck on this endeavor. No, don't worry about it. Good luck. I'm, I'm saying, that. I'm here to the I'm that just saying, bad. best of luck on that, because I don't think that that's gonna be a thing. I'm leading with contracts. I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Start having shorty sign on the table. I wait. Test it out. Test it out. Let Let's see. So let's you, see what it's going for. I'm make, it's gonna happen. Uh, let me tell you, a dude brings me a contract uh -huh. that I'm seriously into. We've been there for three me? years. I am snuffing you in your face. You I feel like that's me. that's why that's disrespectful. Because I also think, which nobody's trying to talk about, uh -huh. is the level of a wife uh -huh. seeing a wife uh -huh. and seeing a husband. Uh -huh. A contract is not That's a, still your husband no, and your wife. absolutely what? not. Yo. Absolutely hold on. not. She was getting That's what we not about to do. Hold That's what we not about to You're not about to call me. Hold you on. are not about to call me a wife and we have a marriage contract. You're... Bananas. I'll cut off her Instagram moment. That was that, that's her clip. That clip was great. A couple of black women are gonna be like, he bring me that? I'm a hoom. But, but listen, what's the that's what I'm trying to say. I that's think crazy. it's just the it's just the word. You just wanna change the no difference you hate between society. The, it's okay. the no difference between contract and license. It's no difference. Okay. You sign it on the dotted line with somebody, mm. it's the same thing. Okay. I, I, a contract expires though, a marriage license doesn't though. You don't have to renew your marriage license ever. Because the idea is that it's forever. Until they want money for you to... The idea is that it's forever. Forever. Mm. 